Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. We're at the van cave. Here's the van. Kind of just fiddling around today. I'm doing a few storage items underneath here, up underneath that cabinet. Shut off the fridge for now. Pretty much this thing's just going to have to sit till we can get her on the road. Just run it to town for supplies and whatnot. Okay, I get tons of questions about the buggy. Tomorrow, we are going to head up, and I'll show you. See that big mountain? We're going there. <laughs> All through in there. So. Should be fun. The weather's supposed to be perfect. This morning was still overcast. It's kind of breaking. I'm just uh, cleaning up the buggy. Check the oil. Gotta do that kind of frequent. Getting it all cleaned up. People ask me uh, if I have supplies. Down here in this tub, I have a foam pad for cushion. This is where I keep the drone camera batteries cameras and all that this headset is Bluetooth I can actually record audio a lot of the audio you hear is through this I record it to an audio recorder then mix it in the videos this is a Kawasaki Mule Pro it's actually a three-seater it's got an 830 cc engine camera mounts I mount one here. I have another mount over there, but that was kind of a pain in the rear to reach over there all the time, so I use a handheld. So the main cameras you see are this one, that's a GoPro Hero 8, and then I have two handhelds. Those are GoPro Hero 7s, and then the drone, then also my phone. So I have plenty of cameras. I carry a spare tire. I have a uh, ice chest here. Here, I'll show you under the seat. Let me have do this one-handed. Seat pops up. Kinda. Under here I have a storage compartment and I keep down here got the registration paperwork I have tools I carry this uh, battery booster here let me show you this thing this is cool it's an ultra ultra It's a uh, jump battery. It's got little jumper cables. Plug it in. You can also charge a cell phone, that kind of thing, off of it. It's got a little light. Actually, I'm going to do a review on this pretty soon, as soon as I get back on the road. Anyway, I keep that in the buggy. Also, in here, I bought it separately. So I have a bottle jack down there that'll lift this. Gloves, Gorilla Tape, bug spray, binoculars, tools, and then that ratchet there, it's 11 16 that's for the lug nuts on this thing. So if I have a flat, I can fix it. Extra hat, reading glasses, all that. But this is a waterproof storage bin. Gas tanks over there. Now I get a lot of questions asked, do I carry an extra can? It's hard to determine your mileage on one of these things. Because you're really not clocking mileage, you're more like hours or minutes. I can run this thing all day long on about five gallons. 
this thing holds ten and a half gallons so I know I'm pretty good shape like going up in the mountains of Mara that would be about 40 miles round trip somewhere around there uh, I won't need to carry gas I'll have plenty and what I do have I have these set up like this that's how I haul them in the van so I don't spill anything but anyway I have uh, two two and a half gallon cans and uh, glove box here it's waterproof gloves phone charger stickers <laughs> But this tub works out real well. It's got belt, uh, seat belts for three people. The buggy's cool. It's got four-wheel drive. Uh, you can lock the differential, all that stuff. It's got turn signal. It's fully street legal besides off-road. I just added this. This is a hand sanitizer, my own home brew of it. Rubbing alcohol and aloe vera oil. It's a recipe I found online. Can't buy the stuff. Everything's sold out. Then the flag and all that. Then the flag. So, but that's it. This is what we travel in. And we're going to be using it quite a bit. I mean, I really can't travel. But we can easily go out in the desert around here. Maybe we'll just look for stuff. Maybe do a little prospecting whatnot so in saying all that I'm gonna finish getting this thing ready for tomorrow and then we'll head up to that canyon should be pretty scenic I've never been up there at all never taken the roads or anything so it should be kind of cool so today finish odds and ends in here a little bit and it's just kind of busy work in the buggy okay well I hope everyone's safe and sound tomorrow we'll go exploring talk soon